Welcome back to my channel. So this time I'm going to discuss about subtraction of dissimilar fractions. So kapag sinabi mong dissimilar fractions, okay, so these are fractions with uh, different denominators. So sa mga previous na exam na videos ko, diniscuss ko na yung about dissimilar fractions. So focus tayo ngayon kung paano mag-subtract ng fractions with different denominators. So, itong steps na to ay similar lang doon sa uh, addition of fractions. Ano lang pinagkaiba? Dahil nga subtraction tayo, this time, ang isasubtract, uh, magsasubtract tayo ng numerator. Pero yung step by step na gagawin natin ay uh, very similar lang doon sa ating uh, unang video. Okay? So, example. Ngayon, so... Tinuro ko last time na kailangan makuha muna, mo, uh, makuha muna natin yung least common denominator. Okay? So, paano makukuha yon? Kukunin natin yung mga uh, least common multiple then ng uh, dalawang numbers na nasa denominator. So, una, we have 9. Wait. So... Okay, so we have 9 then uh, uh, yung kanyang uh, multiples ay 9 18 so we have uh, 27 then uh, 36 and so on okay so sa 6 naman Ang kanyang multiples ay uh, 6, uh, 12, 18, and uh, 24. So, makikita na natin dito yung pinaka, ano nila, uh, pinaka least common multiple. Ayun yung 18. Okay. So, kapag nakita mo na yung pinaka uh, common multiple ng dalawa. Stop ka na sa pagkuha ng multiples. Ha? Kasi para hindi na umaba masyado. So, ibig sabihin, ng LCD mo ay equals or equals sa uh, E. Now, after that, yung bawat um, ito yung pinaka st first step kasi natin. After nyan, yung bawat fraction ay uh, gagawin natin uh, or kukunin natin yung equivalent fraction niya. So, dapat yung equivalent fraction niya, ang denominator ay 18. So, una, we have 2 over 9. So, i-multiply natin ang 2 over 9 sa 2. Bakit sa 2? Kasi 9 times 2, ang, ang lalabas ay 18. So, 2 times 2, we have 4. The 9 times 2, 18. So, ang goal natin, makakuha tayo ng uh, equivalent fraction ng 2 over 9 na 18 yung denominator. So, okay na yan. Next, so we have 1 over 6. Ito naman, yung multiply natin by 3. Kasi, 6 times 3 ay 18. So, lalabas yung later ay 18 ang denominator. Okay, so balik tayo sa numerator. 1 times 3, we have 3 over Okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo, okay, nakuha na natin mga equivalent fractions na ang denominator ay 18. Sa so, third step naman, dito na tayo mag-a-add. But this time, yung i-a-add na natin yung mga equivalent fractions ng dalawang given fractions. So, una tayo, ang 2 over 9, ang equivalent fraction niya ay 4 over 18. Then, minus. Ang equivalent fraction ng 1 over 6 ay 3 over 18. So, ngayon, copy natin yung numerators, yung dalawa. So, 4 minus 3. Okay? So, ito lang yun. Kinapi ko lang itong part na yan. And then, copy the common denominator. And then, 4 minus 3, we have 1 over 18. So, this is now our final answer. Hindi na natin kailangan kuhanin ng GCF kasi uh, ang common factor ng 1 and 18 ay 1 lang. So, ito na yung pinaka simplified na no? or uh, final answer natin for number 2. Okay? So, next.
Ngayon naman, we have 5 over 7. So, una, kunin mo muna yung uh, least common multiple natin dito sa denominator. So, una kay 7. So, we have 7. Then, 7 times 1. 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 3, 21. 7 times 4, 28. 7 times 5, 35. 7 times 6, 42. And so on. Okay? Next. Sa 5 naman. Ang 5 naman, 5 times 1, 5. 5 times 2, 10. 5 times 3, 15. So, uh, 20, 25, 30, then 35. So, may nakita na natin tayo. 35 yung pinaka-common multiple. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ayan din yung LCD. Okay? Then, after that, yung sa step uh, 2 natin, ito yung step 1. Step 2, yung bawat fraction, kailangan, um, tawag dyan, ang denominator niya ay 35. Para maging similar fraction sila. 5 over 7 times so, mumultiply natin to by 5. Kasi ang 7 times 5 ay 35. So, multiply mo natin yung numerators. That is 25 over 35. Okay? And then, yung 2 over 5 naman, i-multiply natin by 7. Okay? So, 2 times 7, we have 14. Ito yon And then, 5 times 7, we have 35. Okay? So, step 3 natin, dito na tayo mag- uh, mag ma minus so ang equivalent fraction of 5 over 7 we have 25 over 35 so ito yan na, itong part na yan minus 2 ang equivalent fraction ng 2 over 5 is 14 over 35 okay so equals ma minus natin ang numerators kakapi lang natin tong part na yan so we have 25 minus 14 over 35. Then equals 25 minus 14, that is 11 over 35. So this is now our final answer. Bakit? Um, ang common factor ng 11 and 35, 1 lang. So hindi mo na kailangan i-lowest term to. Okay? So ito yung pinaka-final answer. Okay? So ito yung, ayun na yan yung answer natin. Okay, next. Sa 2 over 6 minus 2, 4. Ngayon, kunin natin ulit yung uh, least common multiple. So, 6. We have uh, 6, 12, 18, 24, then 13, and so on. Okay? Then, 4. Uh -huh. We have 4, uh, 8, 12, 16, okay, and then 20, no, kasi 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 12, 4 times 4, 16, 4 times 5, 20, then 4 times 6 is 24, ngayon, may nakita na, natin, na tayong common multiple, kaya stop na tayo, okay, ay sorry, sorry, Oh, ito ang common multiple. Yung, 12, yung smallest common multiple. So, 12. Okay? So, yun. So, ang pinaka ang kailangan natin ay smallest or the least common multiple. Kaya, 12 ang ating PPA. Hindi 24. Okay? So, the LCD now is 12. Okay? And then, step 2 natin. Ito yung pinaka step 1. Is... Uh, kunin ang equivalent fraction ng bawa, ng 2 over 6 na, na ang denominator ay magiging 12. So, mamultiply natin by 2. So, this is 4 over 12. Okay? So, mag-iisip ka ng number na mamultiply sa 6 na 12 dapat yung magiging denominator kasi yan ang ating LCD. So, 3 over 4 naman, we have 3. Then, 9 over 12. Okay? So, next. So, step 3 natin, yung minus na natin, yung mga equivalent fractions. So, una, una muna yung 4 over 12. Kasi, 
ayun yung given natin. Okay, 2 over 6. Kukunin muna natin una yung equivalent fraction ng 2 over 6. Then, minus 9 over 12. So, copy natin. 4 minus 9 over 12. So, kung napansin nyo dito, no, yung uh, second number natin or yung pinakasabrehin ay mataas dito no, sa minuwen. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin i-apply yung rules about subtraction of integers. Kung saan, ikakapi natin yung first number, yung 4, yung minus na to, okay, etong minus na yan, ay magiging plus. Ito, automatic, ito siya, ay positive 9. So, kunin natin yung opposite niya. Ano bang opposite niya? That is negative, uh, that is negative 9 over 12. So, sa rules natin, sa subtraction of integers, kapag magkaiba sila ng sign, ima-minus mo yung numbers. So, 9 minus 4 is 5. And then, get the, the sign of the, or copy the sign of the number with greatest absolute value. Ito yung negative 9. So, we have, ang sign ng, ng 5 ay negative over 12. So, this is now our final answer. Okay? So, negative 5 over 12. So, thank you po. Sa next video natin ay i-discuss ko naman yung multiplication and division of ano, fractions.